What message would you give to these people that are just like, this sounds great, but I'm so overwhelmed in what I'm doing now. I never feel like I'm be able to reach any of my goals. I think you touched on it, but it is possible. Keep mm -hmm. going. I guess that I want to just hear you talk about that a little bit more in a, in a place where people just feel stuck. I know it's mm -hmm. coming up on Q4. I know that lull right before it like really starts getting crazy. People get a little antsy and they just like, it gets super overwhelming and, and I don't know if you get nervous, but you get anxious of like, mm -hmm. when is this thing actually going to start taking off? I'm waiting. I keep on hearing Q4, Q4 is going to be crazy. And it's just like, we're in that lull of it getting <laughs> pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. So if you could encourage people and kind of give them the <laughs> energy to hold on and still mm -hmm. stick with it when it does get super crazy to just like ride this wave, be successful. If you could yeah. leave us with that, I'd appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, sure. I, I and and it is. I I think, again, going back to mindset, you know, it, it it's so many challenges and roadblocks that we approach or that that come into our path, you know, are are really not knowledge issues. I mean, they can be, but it, it's often belief systems and mindset things, and 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 so that's of course where I'm always going to go back to, and I'm always going to touch on touch on. So I think as people are are looking forward to the fourth quarter, some of the most important things are actually a little bit more technical, honestly, are just determine what your goal is. You know, set a personal goal for yourself. Don't be worried about other people are doing and what other, you know, what their goals are. You know, don't look at other people's successes and compare it to where you're at. Um, you know, this is a really personal journey. And so one of the most important things is to really determine what your personal goal is, what you want to accomplish personally for this next three months. And then you need to develop a, a plan of action for that. Um, we just, like I said, we just went through our accountability group and we had our, one of the things that we did, uh, my friend Marianne Ranner put together this thing called goals with Pur purpose and a pick chart. And in the goals with purpose, two of the steps are to identify potential roadblocks and then identify what the solutions are to those roadblocks so that when they happen, you already have a plan of action and it's not going to throw you off track. And so I think that's one of the things that I would recommend for people going into this, this, uh, this next three months um, or actually any part of their business, honestly, is just to determine what your personal goal set is. And, and then and then make a, a, a checklist of the priorities of how to get there, determine what the potential roadblocks might be, and then think ahead about what solutions you might have in place. Because, uh, and for example, you know, if you, uh, if you decide that you're gonna go into a new store and you're gonna do, ro uh, you wanna do reverse sourcing for replenishables, and you get inside and the, the network, network doesn't work, you know, and you don't have that. Well, you can let something like that totally derail you. I mean, and some people do, honestly. You know, you can let that totally der derail you. But if you determine ahead of time, it's like, you know what, if I, I have this panel, I'm gonna go into the store, and if I end up not having a Wi-Fi service, then my solution to that, that I've already determined, is going to be X, Y, Z. You know, it could be, well, I'm going to take pictures of everything and then I'm going to go home and do the research or whatever. Um, I, I just want to stop there and stay here for a second. I love that. We do a lot of action plans mm -hmm. and like systemizing, but I don't know if we prepare ourselves properly for the roadblocks that we might mm -hmm. run into. That's fascinating to me that you, you take the time to do that preemptively to go, mm -hmm. oh, this might happen. Let mm -hmm. me figure out a solution for that before it even happens so that mm -hmm. when it does affect me, I can blow right past it. It'll be like, yeah. oh, I kind of saw this coming. No mm -hmm. problem. I'm getting into that. I guess, or I've experienced it in the past. That's, that's the other I was thing. Say. For me, yeah. I think because we've done so many things, I'm constantly <laughs> running into walls just because I, I like to take action immediately, not with a whole bunch of planning. I think that's why I mean it they don't work so well together. It's like I... It might be in the beginning was very difficult, but now that I've seen so many problems, I've run over so many obstacles and run through so many walls that like now I can go, okay, this is our game plan. I know this is not going to go exactly from A to B like how I want it to. I know it's going to be a crazy path, but at least I know in those peaks and valleys, I'll be able to persevere. And I think that was, 
that like preemptively perseverance <laughs> it's like uh, I never would have thought of that before I, I just wanted to stop and I guess express my feeling on it and and to encourage anybody if this is something new to you you are going to run into problems mm -hmm. I don't know how because maybe I, I haven't thought about it enough but having a solution to a problem that you might have is an amazing tip, trick like that that's incredible to me I, I don't think I've ever thought about that but that is fascinating and I, I think yeah. having that community too really helps you with that yep that's gonna and that would have been the next thing too that I would say is that you know we are blessed to being a community that really cares about people I mean it just it does and I'm gonna say I, I would say that that's unique as well as what, as what we have in the in legends here. You know, and we talk, again, we talk about this in the welcome conversation. So if there's new people here that are listening to this and you haven't done your welcome conversation, this is one of the things that we will talk about. You know, Danny says this all, this, all the time, don't suffer in silence. You know, we have community here that are, are happy and willing to answer questions to help in any way that we can. And so lean into that. You know, um, I think for me, I'd probably another piece on, as far as encouragement goes, is just that it can be done. You know, it, it absolutely can be done. And if you're finding yourself in a position where you don't believe that about yourself, that's when it's even more important to lead into the community and ask for help and, and to determine, you know, what is the place where you're stuck so that you can take the, ne the necessary steps to get past that. Because I promise you, if you do, if you do that, it will be so worth your time. It will be so worth actually living your dream living and having that be your reality and not just something that you're wishing and hoping for you know and, and that's the thing it's just, it, 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 it's out there it's out there for everybody if you're willing to believe if you're willing to learn if you're willing to put in the time and if you're willing to lean into the community and ask for help you know it's it's there's no such thing as a, it's I know the cliche but cliches have are there for a reason there's no such thing as a dumb question if you honestly want to know the answer. Somebody told me that once. I love it. I've always loved it. it it's just it, that, and it, it's so true. It, it's it's you have to ask for help when you need when you need it. Um, and there's plenty of people here that are willing to do that. Yes. And now I guess for the second part of that encouragement is when things do start getting crazy in Q4 and you feel super overwhelmed and you feel like you're not getting any sleep and it just feels like you're, you're trying to ride this crazy wave. I'm, I, you've gone through at least some of these Q4s. What would be your lesson from the very first one to where the very last one that you went through is like, how do you maintain this level of work? I know you talked about like having a problem and preempting for that problem. I'm sure you're doing a lot more prep <laughs> this year yeah. than you did the first year. I guess, how would you encourage somebody when they do feel like, okay, now I'm in this thing. Now I feel super overwhelmed. I feel like I'm losing this fight. <laughs> how do I rally and continue to go? And I think this preemptive, like what you just said, you know you're going to hit these hurdles. What's something that you can, a problem that you might run into and a solution for that problem and encourage them through this Q4 process? It, it, I think one of the biggest lessons that I learned, and, and this comes from, I think, one of the basic um, belief systems, tenants, you know, things that we, we talk about here. Um, is just understanding where your priorities are. And so it's, it's God and then family and then business. And so for me personally, the first couple of Q4s that I did were crazy. You know, they were crazy and I never saw my family and it was just like overwhelming and stuff like that. One of the things that we did intentionally did last year, and I really love, I think Jimmy's talking about this um, within the, re, uh, the uh, replan uh, course that he's doing as well. Um, is is it doesn't have to be that way okay it doesn't have to be that way last year we decided that we were gonna we were gonna set our personal goals and we weren't gonna suck it get sucked into what other people are doing so when I was hearing these people like oh I had a three thousand dollar day I I made an intentional decision that I was I was gonna stick to my guns on what my goals were and my goals weren't that you know, my goals were to find that balance so that I wasn't running all over the place and spending all the time and, 
worrying about everything and trying to get everything in. Uh, yes, you, you, you want to take advantage of the opportunity that Q4 happens, for sure. Um, if that's your goal, maybe you don't, <laughs> you know, and that's okay too. Um, but, but the point is, is determine what, what you want out of the fourth quarter and stick to that. Don't get sucked into everything else. So if you know that you're going to work X number of hours and that's going to be your business time and then the X number of hours you're going to have for your, you know, your faith and for your family, then stick to your guns on that. And, and absolutely, you know, make sure that that's the priority that you're keeping. And that helped me so much last year with the overwhelm <clears throat> because we, had, we mapped it out. You know, we mapped out what we wanted to do. And, and because we followed our plan, it was great. You know, it, we, we ended up, um, last year we were, uh, uh, all of our kids gathered on the West Coast for Christmas. And, and it happened that we were doing that like December 9th through whatever, you know, just that last, for us, that still used to be a last push because we're like an hour from a distribution center. So we're, I'm sorry guys, we're one of those lucky people that can send stuff in almost at the last minute and it still gets to where it wants to go. Um, but I knew I was going to be in Oregon and I wasn't, you know, and, and, and so I had to make a conscious decision that I was okay with that and to walk away and say, okay. This, this was my goal. We knew we were going to stop here. Whatever got done at that point got done, and then we walked away. It was the best Q4 we've had. We, we met our financial goals. We met our personal goals. It, it, I'm not saying it wasn't busy. It was. It was really busy. We worked really hard, but it was within the framework of a plan, and so it never felt hysterical. You know, We never felt like it was out of control or anything like that. And I think that's where some of the overwhelm comes in, where it's where you're just chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing and chasing. Um, that's where that gets into play. And we're going to continue to do that this year. Where Are there are people that made more money than we did in the fourth quarter? Yes. I'm still happy with what I did because it was my personal goal and I got to spend time with my family. And it didn't override for me what the true meaning of a holiday is. And so I needed to find, you know, it was really important for us to have that balance. And so I guess for encouragement for people, I would just say, determine ahead of time what your personal goals are. Determine ahead of time what schedule it is that you're going to want to work and stick to it. You know, stick to it. Don't get stuck into all of the, the hysteria of it. Because honestly, money isn't worth it. It's not. It's not worth losing your health. It's not worth not having your faith. It's not worth not spending time with your family. It's just not. I would 100% agree. And it's interesting that your advice did not change too much for prepping in the lull or going through the crazy. Like you're mm -hmm. still set your goals. You're on your own personal journey. Don't let this craziness truly affect you. Mm -hmm. I think that is solid advice. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what we've learned over time. We are younger and probably <laughs> always try to push things to the limit but it's something that we have learned is like let's be steady and i think that's why i really love pod because it allows us to we're doing all our prep now so that we can finally have a q4 where it's just rest and relaxation i think the straw that broke the camel's back was the black friday before we kind of gave everything up mm. too many cars being filled too many everything and that was just a few years ago and then coming from there to where i am now it's so much more enjoyable, so much more relaxing. And like you mm -hmm. said, I'm having a much better time at business now than I was mm -hmm. before when we were working like crazy. Mm -hmm. And it's, it allows us to do way more and have a lot more opportunities opened up to us and then seeing, putting God first in all things and then seeing kind of the opportunities that are presented in front of us and seeing is this aligned with what we feel like we're called to do. That's why I'm very excited for this opportunity to be in this and now I'm just trying to learn, okay, I do feel called to help people in the Legends group. How can I do that the best? I don't know other than just like asking people, trying a lot, not a lot of things, but trying a few things and then going, where, where is it that we kind of fit in and can help the people that are, that are ready to take that kind of next step and go, okay, I want to add another income stream. I'm doing OA and RA. POD seems interested. Okay. Now what does the wingman have to offer me? I think I'm trying to put there some kind of, you're here, you're gathering this data. Here's a systematic way now to kind of move over and add POD to your business. I appreciate you, Christy. 
<laughs> I'm excited for what you have coming up. I, I think you're very close to being able to fully fund <laughs> your BA team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just want to encourage everybody in here and any questions that you have, feel free to ping me, my brother, Nathaniel Hibbert, any questions that you have on POD, if it's merch, KDP, whatever, that's kind of what I feel like I'm here for is to answer those questions and mm -hmm. provide you guys something to be able to add POD to your business. Mm -hmm. Do you have any words of wisdom to leave us with after all that amazingness? <laughs> no, just, you know, know that no, it's a caring, loving place and, and keep your priorities where they need to be. And, you know, if you if you get burnt out you're gonna you're gonna lose out on an opportunity that can be really life-changing for you and so that's why it's super super important to just have your own journey make your own plans keep your own schedule ask for help lean into the group you know those are all the basic things that i would tell anybody um and know that we care about you we do yeah, it just is. So that's it. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Have a great rest mm -hmm. of the week and a weekend.